Hi everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my channel. I have another thrift haul to share with you. This is my weekly Sunday thrift haul where I share with you the things that I picked up the day before at the Durham Rescue Mission outlet or the bins. I um, have to say when I first got there, they had opened their doors early, which is always nice. Um, but when I first got there, I wasn't finding a whole lot of anything. I ended up though with quite a bit of things. Uh, some of course that I'm gonna keep for myself and some I will be reselling. So I'll tell you what each of those are. And in fact, what I will do is go ahead and start off the video with the things that I'm going to be keeping. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, the things that I'll be keeping for myself, um, this is gonna be for my daughter. Um, as a lot of you know, she is a huge Harry Potter uh, fan. And this is a Harry Potter 550 piece glow in the dark puzzle so so cool but me being me <laughs> um now it's been opened i am hoping that all of the puzzle pieces are there however uh like i said me being me when i picked these uh these and some other puzzles up to put them into the bag this i pulled the top off of this and it fell on the floor so myself and the young man that works there we think we got them all louis don't chew on my plant we think we got them all, hopefully we did, but one night while I'm just sitting there watching television, I'll go ahead and count them up. I hope there's 150 pieces here. So the next thing, let me show you this now because Lewis is starting to chew on it. Um, I did not get the bromeliad plant there. I actually got this at um, Ikea a couple of weeks ago when my daughter and I went. It was a dollar in their clearance area, so I was really excited to get it. And it's in pretty good condition if Lewis would just stop biting the leaves. But I picked up this. It's not a pot. It's not an actual pot or planter. It's just some kind of dish. But I thought that the green, that you see that little bit of green there? I thought that was really pretty with the green in the, in the plant itself. So, you know, sometimes it's good to think outside of the box as to what you can use for planters or anything for that matter. Just reimagine it as something else. So that's what I did with this little dish here. Let me put this guy over here so you know who doesn't get to him. He's a little wobbly, that bromeliad. I just replanted it yesterday. So hopefully it gets some good water and it starts to grow and get some roots down where it won't be quite so wobbly. Next thing I got um, that I'm gonna be putting away, um, this is gonna be for the booth. Um, I was thinking, that once I do get my larger space, because I am on a list for a larger space, this might be good to put like prints and stuff in so that they're at a little bit of an angle. You know, this would sit flat, obviously, and this is angled. So the prints would be angled and you'd see a little bit of it. And hopefully that would kind of spark someone's imagination or curiosity, I should say, to go ahead and look at the whole thing. So we'll be putting this away. And I hope it's not going to be put away for very long. Uh, picked up, these are called Brain Teasers, 140 question cards, and they're just little brain teasers. I'm going to be putting this in my uh, packages when I send them out. This one I just happened to pull open, so this is an example. Uh, okay, you are driving a bus filled with 12 people. At the first stop, two more people get on. At a second stop, Three people get off and one gets on. At the third stop, four people get off. What is the name of the bus driver? Anybody get it? You can do that one more time. You are driving a bus filled with 12 people. At the first stop, two more people get on. At the second stop, Three people get off and one more gets on. At the third stop, four people get off. What is the name of the bus driver? So go ahead and in the, in the comment section, go ahead and type your answer. So now I'll give it to you. So the answer is, for me, would be Joanne. It's whatever your name is, because remember it said, you are driving a bus. So they kind of Try and trick you there with all of those numbers where you're thinking it's going to be something that it turns out not to be. But so how many people got that right? 
Another thing I picked up that I will be keeping is this Soothe, uh, Eco Soothe Eye, or Cooling Eye Mask infused with relaxing lavender. This is brand new in the package. Um, I didn't get it so much for the lavender or anything. I got it actually just that I'm hoping it's not too bulky because in the mornings, you know, since the sun comes up so much earlier now than in the, obviously in the winter time, at least on this part of the country, um, for now, it, it, um, it wakes me up. So, and I don't have room darkening curtains, but I thought if I could just put this over my eyes, maybe that'll block out some of the sunlight and I might be able to sleep a little bit later. So that's for myself. And I think that is all that I got for myself. So now on to everything that I will be reselling. I did pick up some puzzles. Um, this is, oh, Louis is kissing my arm. I don't know if you caught him down there. He gave me a couple little kisses on my arm. They felt so good. Um, this is a 500 piece uh, bits and pieces of sunrise feasting, it says. That's really pretty. So I do like to pick up puzzles when they are still um, packaged so that you know there's not anything missing. Got that one. Now this one I picked up. This one has been opened and put together. This is Dowell. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The Detroit, Detroit Tigers. Um, 500 pieces. I picked this up because these puzzles have a really, really good resale value. And originally these puzzles go for 45 and above. Um, they're quite pricey puzzles. Um, so again, just like the Harry Potter puzzle, I will sit one night and just mindlessly count out puzzle pieces while I'm watching television. This one is new in the box. This is the art of Susan Brabo, the clock shop. Uh, let's see, regular price 15 and then our price was $6.99. I'm not sure who our is, but there's that one. So those are gonna be going up into the booth. I thought I might try something different with puzzles, we'll see. This I was super excited to find, and I was surprised um, because there were already several people in there that someone didn't pick this up. Um, this I'm gonna be sending off to the real reel. This is a, uh, where it is? Oh, it's kinda of hard to make out, but it, it is Patagonia. Um, it says it right there, right along the side there. Um, this is a Patagonia backpack, so it needs a little bit of cleaning up. I'm going to try and do it probably in the washing machine. Um, I want to do some research first to see if I could see if the, maybe on the website if there's a recommended way to clean their backpacks because I don't want to ruin this because this is something that the real real will take. So I was happy to find that. Uh, this I actually didn't find myself. Um, my new friend Michelle found this and she just put it aside. She said she didn't want it. So it's a Christmas shawl. And there's dear old Santa down there. So that'll be put away for the Christmas booth. This I think is super, super pretty. Now I'm not sure if this was really meant to be a hanging planter. Do you think it was? Um, when I first looked at it, I thought it was a purse, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it's absolutely wide open. So I think that's what this is supposed to be, is a hanging planter. So I was pretty happy to find that. I think it's really pretty. Then I did get a couple of bags. Uh, the first one is this shoulder bag, kind of like a hobo bag, in good condition. This is by Soho Design Group. A couple little marks on the inside of it. Um, or is that a fuzzy? Oh no, good, that's a fuzzy. Oh, that's, that's good. There is the mark on it. And yeah, this one is in good condition. I don't see any pulls or anything in it. Little tiny one right there, but I can pull that through to the other side and it doesn't affect it. And then this one is cool. This is a handmade macrame bag. And it's kind of hard to see, but it actually is 
like a creamy color and then a yellow. Yeah, I think you can kind of sort of see, make out the different colors that is in it. And then it just, <laughs> look at, I mean, totally homemade, handmade. Oh, well, it does snap. Oh, Lewis, no, not the Patagonia backpack. No, sir, uh-uh. Okay. Uh, this also will be going up to the booth. Um, this might be good for kids. It is a by Games Games Room Six Double Dominoes, and this is brand new in the package. The dominoes have whoops never been opened. Really pretty blue there. And I'm going to do two things right now. I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to take this little monster and put him down. But I also have to go run and get something. So I will be right back. Oh my goodness, guys. Talk about out of sight, out of mind. I found three things out in the truck that I completely forgot to bring in the house to show you. So I have those as well. I gathered those up. Um, some more books. This I'm going to try. It is Questions and Answers, Earth and Space. I thought some child might really enjoy that. So pick that one up. And then I'm going to try what I think they call color blocking with books, where you get different books, but all the same color, and group those together. So I found a bunch of red ones. found a couple of orange ones. will be good for Halloween and the fall. But here are the red ones that I found. So you'll just, I'll just put all the three of those together, bind them up with some uh, jute twine, and then put a flower or something on top of it just to embellish it a little bit. Put that away for, oh, pardon me. Put that away for Valentine's Day or Christmas. Uh, let's see, we don't need this. And then this is really, really pretty, I thought. I'm assuming it's a brass, but look at how pretty that little dish is with all those different colored candles on it. And it's it's a pretty shallow dish, but it would be nice just to maybe put your watch or your ring in when you go to bed at night. Keep that on your bedside table. Um, this is another thing actually Michelle found first and just put it back into the bin, so I took it. It's, I don't know if it's actually meant to be a children's rolling pin or it's just a toy or something, but I thought it was pretty cool. And this I've got to get cleaned up and get up to the booth pronto because it is for 4th of July. And look at, that, look at this, that little cow and his little boingy tail. So cute. It's a little picture frame. Looks like it must have been at somebody's yard sale for 50 cents. It didn't sell. It's so off to the bins it goes. Um, boy, this is another uh, haul that is like for all seasons. I found these were brand new. They were partially packaged up and I took off what packaging there was because it just did it. It wasn't helping it any, but these adorable little snowman and snow lady salt and pepper shakers um, with their stoppers. Um, found a Tupperware. Not a sifter. What is this? Oh my gosh. I need those crickets <laughs> that D plays when she can't think of what it is. Colander? Colander. I'm going to say colander. And I'm not sure. That may, is that a burn mark or was that supposed to be there? Anyway, wash that up. Put that up at the booth. This, I love this little box. This is going to be a project piece. Look at the etching on the glass in there and a porcelain handle on it. I'm not entirely sure what it was supposed to be originally, but I just think this is going to be so sweet if I can paint this up and distress it a little bit. I love this piece. Uh, let me show this to you right now because you know who is getting into it. No, you don't, buddy. This looks vintage to me, um, and it might just be that this is the color it was meant to be kind of this off-white creamy color and I hear someone at my door I'll be right back okay guys I'm back that was my friend Rhonda she needed her house key she locked herself out um what else do we have this is crazy let me show this to you first 
I picked it up. So you can see it's a tea, or I'm, I'm sorry, a sugar pot. This thing it's lid. I picked it up because I thought I was going to put some flowers in it and make an arrangement and put it up at the booth. It would be really cute. I saw the tag on the bottom of it at the bins. Didn't even think to look at it. Look at this. On clearance, this was $114.99 on clearance. Original price, $222. I mean, what in the world? <laughs> it's a piece by Lennox. I ripped this off of here. It is, it is a piece by Lennox. Um, looks like maybe tuxedo. And I'm guessing, even though I can't read it, it's probably like a, I don't know, 14 karat gold or something like that paint on I'm not sure but could you imagine paying retail $222 for a sugar bowl so before I go and put flowers into it I'm gonna go next Saturday and see if I just might get lucky and find the lid that goes with it if I find the lid that goes with it I'm putting this on eBay but for now it's staying put um, now this, I found, I found a whole bunch of Tupperware there yesterday. I found um, this little piece, but I met a new friend there, Aurora. And Aurora, if you're watching, hello. She is so sweet. She came up to me, told me about, that you know, she watches me on YouTube and all, and that she had a Tupperware lid for me. Well, it's in my truck somewhere, Aurora. I have not lost it, but what did she do? She found this lid that you might remember a couple of weeks ago. I thrifted a whole bunch of these, which turned out to be for coffee and for the coffee filters. Um, and one of them, I was missing the lid on it. And she found the lid, saved it for me, and I guess just brought it every week she was there. It happened to run into me yesterday, took me out to her car and gave it to me. So I thought that was so, so sweet. Aurora, again, thank you so, so very much for remembering that I needed that lid for finding it and keeping it and giving it to me. So I'll tell you, there are some really, really nice people that go to the bins. And I am very lucky that I have run into a whole bunch of them. We'll be washing that up. And speaking of more Tupperware, I believe I found one of the... Oh, there's something in here. Okay, um, I think I brought one of these back uh, when I went home to Scranton not too long ago. Because some folks were saying it was for pies, some folks were saying it was for cupcakes. Um, I think it's a little too shallow for cupcakes, um, but you could definitely put a rather large pie in there and carry it around. So I'll be washing that up. So now I have two of those. Um, also Tupperware, we found this piece here. Um, is there any Tupperware under there? No. Um, this piece, which was somebody had opened it up and all three of the pieces, they were all over the place. So, there you go. I don't know. I'm guessing it might be for a ham. So you could lift, lift it out of there and be able to cut it easy enough. I'm not entirely sure. I know you guys will know though. Oh, I see a kind of, hope that doesn't go all the way through. No, there is a cut in it, but it doesn't go all the way through. Looks like, well, actually, whatever was in here, they set on there and cut it. Because there's a lot of cut marks on that lid. Then inside of that Tupperware, we have more Tupperware. We have this little pitcher here, where you could just store, I don't know, I guess anything in there. Oh my goodness, as always, running out of room. Uh, found a bunch of containers. Found a bunch of lid. Oh, there's two containers here. Actually, three. Wow. Found these three lids that I'll just keep for future. Uh, let's see. That doesn't go on there. This one could go on there. So we have that one. And then, oh, which goes with that color. Didn't realize that. And this one goes on here. It's like puzzles. This one is missing its lid. Uh, this guy here is missing its lid. I'll find it eventually. 
And then this little tiny one, I'm not sure what that's gonna go to, but I'll find it sometime. Then this is not, that's, that's all the Tupperware I found, which was actually quite a bit. Then I found these, uh, they're tablecloth clamps, a four piece set. And I think this might have a little bit of age to it. So picked these up, um, they might be good for now. It says ship via Nelson's Express Incorporated. Yep, so they might have a little age on them. Um, found this, what I think is a beautiful frame by Tahari. I'll try not to blind you. A four by four, but look at the detailing on this all around. I think it's so, so pretty. And then the last thing that I have, nope, not the last thing, oh my goodness. One of the last things, what is this? Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> Look at this. I have no idea what the character's name is because I've never seen a night before or Nightmare Before Christmas. But let's see here. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. The only thing with it is right here. There's a little line in the ah, in the mesh that's on the eyeball. So. But I think at Christmas time, some kid's going to get a kick out of that. Then I found two step ladders. I already have one up in the booth now that um, I'm using. I mean, it is for sale, but I'm also using it to, on the bottom rung right here, between these two right here, I'm putting my um, rolling pins. And then the top shelf, I've got some, I don't actually don't know what I have on top of it. But it's, these are really good for plant stands. And that's what I was using it for down in the Florida house. So I picked up two of them yesterday. And then, hold on, look at this moose piece. Isn't, can you see, did I have it? There we go. Isn't that fabulous? I love, love, love this. I'm looking at the back of it to see if I could see. No, I thought it might be a Hobby Lobby, but it is not. But I love this piece. This is a burlap in the back here, and then all these different colored woods. Love this piece. I'm trying to decide if I want to hold on to that until more of the fall time or go ahead and put it out now. And then the last thing, definitely the last thing I have to show you, is this floor lamp. I picked it up for my daughter, and then it turns out that she didn't want it. But that's okay. I have some place down in my family room that I could use it. This beautiful floor, I think it's a beautiful floor lamp. A little bit adjustable there. And it's heavy too, so there we go. Oh, and they charged me only $10 for that thing. They're lamps they have priced individually, small, medium, large, and then floor lamps. So they only charged me $9.99 for that. I thought that was a really, really good price. Okay, that, oh, I got a hair here. Um, that is a lot. My favorite, of everything that I showed you. Uh, gosh, I've got to think about this. What my favorite is. Mm. Oh, I'm having a hard time finding, thinking really of a favorite. If I had to pick something though, it's probably going to be all of the vintage Tupperware because I like picking it up and I know that, like, I, that um, folks like behind it at the uh, antique space. So that's going to be my favorite of everything. So make sure down in the comment section below, if you did have a favorite, um, or if you struggled like I did, did this time, let me know that too. But go ahead and drop that into the comment section down below. Um, that's all I have for you today. I'll be back again toward the end of this week with another video, showing you some more of the things that I picked up uh, when I went up to Scranton, which was um, where I was raised. So uh, if you enjoyed the video too, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I want to thank you all very much for watching and as always, please take very, very good care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.